This is the kind of question that a lot of people can just get in two seconds. They know that if they're looking for the y-intercept and we have a line, which is what this is, we're just kind of matching it up with y equals mx plus b, and the b portion is what we're looking for. So that means that it's going to be negative 32, and that is the answer. Now, even if you didn't know that, well, you should, because the current version of the SAT has a lot of emphasis on linear algebra, and from everything I've read so far, the digital SAT, the new one, is going to have even more emphasis on just lines and the properties of lines and basic kind of stuff like that. So y equals mx plus b, I used to say that on the, on the current version of the SAT, it is the... Um, the most important formula that you need for the SAT, I'm gonna stick by that. I think it's still gonna be the most important formula for the SAT. But if you don't know it, we still have another strategy we can use called plug points into equations. Because anytime we talk about intercepts, we know one of our points, or at least half of it, is gonna be zero. So we can just plug that in, right? So that would mean that y we don't know, but m, negative 6, okay, 0 is my x, minus 32, look what happens. Negative 6 times 0 is 0, so this is just y equals negative 32, same thing. So either way, it's a fast question. But one thing I'd like to point out is there is a little bit of a change here. This is one of those free response questions, what I sometimes call the grid-ins, where you don't have answer choices. They are not harder than the multiple choice questions. I want to make that very clear. They're not harder. They're just, you might feel a little less secure, but I promise you they're not harder. Um, but normally on the, the old SAT, we have, uh, we can't enter negatives. It was just part of it, that it was only positive numbers and zero. And so if we got a negative answer, we knew we were wrong. Here, obviously, they're showing us that negatives are acceptable. And so that's just going to basically double the possibilities of answers. I don't think it really affects how you approach the test at all. But from some, for someone who's been teaching this for a long time, the addition of negatives here is a pretty new thing.